look at all the different ways we can sort this list. So we are looking at the display in the Cultural Bruna uh, awesomeness, and this is Colin's uh, view of the world, and Colin's going to change the way he looks at things a couple times here, so we can show the different ways that these calls can be sorted. Now, the, you can see the profile and call settings happen here under the uh, Your Account Profile and Call Settings. That's where call sorting happens. And you can see here there are the three different dimensions that we that we talk about. So let's first look at uh, show unread calls first. I'll just look at that. Look at date ascending. That's usually a typical place to go. I hit the update profile. It says your profile has been updated. And we hit this phone to go back to the phone list. And it goes back and it, and it rebuilds that list. And you can see here, right at the top, these are my unread calls. They're, they're in bold. You'd see them anyway. They're also uh, in, in a certain order based on the colors here. Um, and you can also see, you know, the age. But the most important thing here is we've been able to bring these to the top. Now if I touched one of those it would become red and then it would fall out of this top list and fall down uh, there to the bottom. Uh, now if also just look at these things. It you know, also follows the same pro process here where the uh, bold uh, and unread call is at the top. Alright, so let's go back over here. Once again profile and call settings. Uh, call sorting, so that's unread calls. Let's turn that one no, and it puts your group calls by state. Uh, once again, update profile, it's been updated. Go back, I'm going to resort my calls, uh, loading the pre call building page. You know, so you have to rethink this a little bit. But now you can see here that my, my calls are sorted amongst the uh, call states that's newly received in progress and need to call. Those are the active states that are now part of this. You know, there's there's nine total calls in here. You can see it's red first, newly received, need to call, uh, the purple one's ne next, and the blue one's next. Now you can see that the unread calls are not at the top of the list. Uh, I turned that off and it's now sorted by the next level down within this this grouping from newly received. It, um, I said that it was uh, one of the oldest calls first and I'll show you that next. Right. So within that within this this world of grouping them by call state they're now uh, uh, sorted by by date. Uh, so I'll so let's go back and look at the next option there. So that is, um, once again, call settings, call sorting. That is grouping calls by state. Let's turn that off and just look at date ascending. There's four options here at the base level of our sort when I don't use the other stuff. Um, and that's date ascending and descending, the name ascending and descending. Uh, we'll start with this one. And you can see here that we've got our oldest call is first, that it was. Uh, touched last back in uh, December of 2019 and our newest one that's me just at 625 today uh, that that I made the last change to that right so fantastic so uh, all the way back to the top here um, and you can notice if I touched this call right here and made a change to it it would suddenly have a date of right now and it would fall all the way to the bottom so if you want to take you know, oldest stuff first, and have it fall to the bottom after you after you do something with it. This is the this is the sort for you. But that sort still works within this grouping we have here. The filters of of these call states: oldest call, newest call. All right, let's go back and look at the. Uh, well, obviously, then you'll know what the next one's like. It would be uh, when we look at call sorting and we look at the date descending. That's going to start with uh, the uh, newest call at the top. And that's the example there is, hey, when you touch that call, if you make a change to that call at the top, it's just going to stay at the top. Uh, you can see here's one me today at 625. This was, you know, Monday at 254, Monday at 215, right? So it does by, you know, all the way down to seconds. The most recent one would be at the top. And then all the way down here to my something I did back in December 5th of 2019. I haven't touched one since then. Uh, I wonder if Jimmy uh, Cricket Smith is upset. All right. So let's like let's just look at the last thing here. Uh, so you know it's, it's one or the other, um, and and we'll look at the grouping. So the last one to really kind of look at here is the name ascending, and that's just going to alphabetize my calls based on the name field. We don't really differentiate first last name. So however you've captured it in the name field of your contacts. So here's Bilbo Baggins at the top, and uh, Nancy Drew at the bottom. 
uh, Bilbo, Eve, Fred, Jimmy, Marge. That's how, you know, alphabetical order by the first letter of the name field. That's how this is getting sorted. Now, let's go back here and look at something that's a little bit more common for how we would actually have this thing set up. And uh, the call sorting here, we would probably put the on. I like the unread calls first. Someone else makes a change to my log. It, hit, it pops the top, and I get to see that right away. Not too hard to miss anyway. So if, it, if it's just if you don't have a lot of calls, you know it, the fact that it goes bold lets you know that it's unread. So uh, maybe you don't need that. Like I said, but I like it. Grouping calls by state. Uh, I don't typically do that, but but um, you can do both of these together and then date. Uh, data sending that's kind of my favorite way to look at it is have all have look at all these things right here together um, yes yes and descending by date because uh, what that does is it puts the oldest thing at the top but well these these newest things just changed right and then um, then we were grouped by the uh, uh, below that by by the call state so uh, it's kind of my time boxing strategy. I'm going to reach out to people that uh, are newly received, uh, need to calls. I tend to like to schedule those so it'll show up what date I need to call them. These are things in process, so uh, I, I might, might handle those uh, last. But certainly I can also just look at this and say that's now I want to I want to prioritize how I'm looking at these things. So you can see though that. First, I've got all my all my newly these uh, untouched calls here. These new these uh, 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 unread, and then then the groupings by by call states. Like I said, though, I don't necessarily use that one very often. I tend to use the tabs instead of that. So I'm just going to take that one off. And this is how uh, Jim Havlin from Call Please would typically use. Uh, call please to do my sorting, <laughs> my work I do all day long. These are, you see, unread at the top, and then it just, from after that, it's just uh, the oldest call first, um, all the way, all the rest of the way down. Um, the only thing that doesn't play in this sorting is that urgent call. That's, once again, it's about, uh, really about these tabs and the, uh, uh, the filtering we do up there. All right, there you go.